Hi, it's the bishop here. I have a word I want to share with uh, graduating seniors. Um, this season of graduation celebrations that looks not probably anything like the kind of celebrations so many of you were hoping for. I want to say a word about that word hope, the things we're hoping and dreaming about. Um, we put um, our longings right on the line at this season. There's so much we look forward to that have looked forward to that doesn't seem to be possible right now. So what about that word hope? We use it a lot. I hope for this. I hope we can do that. I hope this or that will happen. In the fifth chapter of the book of Romans, Paul writes to the Christians there in the church in Rome, uh, says this, hope does not disappoint us. And I want to say, really? Sometimes uh, disappointment happens uh, despite our fondest hopes. I had hoped we were going to have that big party after the graduation. I hoped I was going to be able to walk and receive my diploma and turn the tassel and all the rest of it. And sometimes that's simply, um, those kinds of hopes are simply uh, going to be disappointing. But there's a difference between hoping for something and the way Christians use the word hope when we talk about our hope is in God alone. Hope that's for something, the something that might or might not happen is one thing, but hope in God, that's something else. Our God never disappoints us. So I invite all of you who may have had some hopes dashed for um, celebrating this momentous time in your life, um, to put them in perspective and to remember that when our hope is in God, there's nothing that can touch that uh, because God remains God in the face of uh, pandemics and disappointments and uh, missed opportunities. The future is in our hands and it has to do with the way we practice that kind of deep hope that Paul was talking about. When we put our faith into practice, our faith in the God uh, who um, never disappoints us, to put that hope into daily practice of moving forward and acting for the welfare of others and practicing um, loving our neighbor as ourself. So I invite you to put your hope in God now more than ever, even in the face of transitions that may be uncertain, uh, lots of question marks. Um, the future depends on our putting hope into practice. Remember, hope the kind of hope Christians talk about never disappoints us. Congratulations on momentous achievement in your life. And uh, practice hope.